I'm here at the Clark County Food Bank and we are going to do, be doing a cooking matters class for teens here today. All set up for the cooking matters for teens class. Well, I'm here with Kristen, and she's the program manager for the Clark County Food Bank, and uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about the Cooking Matters program. Um, could you just give us an overview of the class for teens that, that you're doing, and also a little, maybe just a little overview about the Cooking Matters program in general? Sure. So, Cooking Matters is a national program. It's something that we as the Clark County Food Bank have started in January of 2013, so we're just getting going with the program. It's designed to um, educate folks on how to cook healthy, how to shop on a budget, and essentially provide them with the skills and the knowledge to not rely on food assistance um, down the road. So truly from a food bank standpoint, we're trying to put ourselves out of a job. Um, the classes specifically, they're six weeks. They are targeted towards adults and teens. Those are the two curricula that we have used thus far. And we are in our first round of the six-week teen class. Um, we've partnered with a organization in town that directly serves low-income clients. Um, so that works out as a very positive partnership with us because that is equally the, the population that we're trying to reach. So. Um, we're in, we just finished the fourth class of the six. Um, we'll graduate these kids in two weeks with their parents. Their parents are invited for a wrap up dinner. And our hope is that they would go out into the community and they would know how to eat healthier. They would know how to shop on a budget um, and essentially decrease their need for being on food assistance down the road. Well, that is just wonderful. I I just am so impressed with the Cooking Matters program. And uh, so, do you think you're going to be able to do more teen classes in the future? Then that's our hope. Certainly, yes. This is the first round. We feel like it was received well. We've got a lot of people on board from the staff perspective, um, from our staff and the partnering staff. A lot of community members that are on board and interested. I think the students that were in this class. Most of them, I think, had a great experience. Um, some of them have not reflected their great experience, but I truly think that they, they have. Um, so yeah, our goal is to continue to have these classes, either with the same organization or potentially other organizations in the community that are interested and meet the target population that we're trying to reach. Well, great. So, well, is there anything else that you might like to add about the Cooking Matters classes in general? or? Um, I think the only thing that I would add is we're really excited for the momentum that we've seen it attract, especially from volunteers, um, community partnerships in the, in the, in the community. I mean, the, the interest has been huge, and that has really allowed us to, to grow exponentially. Um, we're growing at a very fast rate, but it's something that I think the community is is wanting and is looking to support and continue to grow. Um, so we're just we're excited to see where it goes and how many people it affects and um, just to see how many people we can kind of get out of the, the food assistance program. Well, that's excellent. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and everything, and uh, and also being involved in the class. I am enjoying being a volunteer too. Good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I mean, it's blue, but I like four days. And then hold it for a second and let it go up. Yeah. 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 I did your first piece for Thank you. It's really nice to be
She's the nutrition educator for the Teen Cooking Matters program, and I just would like to ask Audrey what um, nutrition education is. So, um, nutrition education really is any kind of education that's being given to an individual or a group um, related to healthy eating. Um, specifically, within the community, you're oftentimes working with groups who are um, low income or food insecure. So for these classes, the education piece is centered around both nutrition, so healthy eating, and then also how to do that um, affordably and with the resources that are available to you, whether or not that's food stamps or a food box or a food pantry, um, just ways to utilize those resources that are available to best feed your family and yourself so you can have a, a healthy life. And so what are some of the topics that you cover um, on the different weeks of the nutrition education? So the first thing we always talk about is my plate, um, which is the, the new my pyramid. Um, it's the guide that USDA has put out for healthy eating across all the food groups. So um, we talk about the five food groups, um, what's good about each one, what to avoid in each one, and then how much of each one you need to have in a given day and at a given meal. Um, and we find that that's a good place to start for most people because it kind of just gives an overview of the idea that there are a lot of different kinds of food and they can all fit within um, a healthy diet for someone. So after we talk about my plate the first week, we generally focus in then on each week following on one or two of the food groups. So we'll discuss fruits and vegetables often are discussed together. Um, ways to get those um, you know, the difference between fresh, frozen, and canned, and the benefits of each kind, really just encouraging people to take advantage of whatever kind of fruit or vegetable they have available to them. Um, and then we talk uh, about grains and whole grains and fiber, um, how to tell if the food is a whole grain, that kind of thing um, is really important. And then we generally have a day where we talk about um, protein and dairy, and that's the day where we also talk about fat, because a lot, a lot of times, those foods have higher fat content than the vegetables and um, the fruit and all of that. So some days are more um, nutrition focused than others and some days we're really focusing on, you know, this is a food that's really affordable. How do we use it in a lot of different ways? For example, um, beans, you know, whole grain pasta, stuff like that. We talk a lot about how to incorporate the same foods into a lot of different recipes. Um, 
some of our class participants comment that it feels like we're always using onions and peppers <laughs> because those are <laughs> what's cheap and that's what's really um, easily available for a lot of people. Uh, so yeah, just really trying to make sure that people leave with um, the knowledge both how to eat healthy but also how they themselves can eat healthy um, in their situation and um, given the resources that they have available. And I noticed you did an activity today, a blubber burger. Would you like to tell us about that? Yeah, that's an activity we do that's specific um, mostly to the teen classes. Um, it's really applicable to them at their age. A lot of them are eating a lot of fast food. Um, and I think as a teenager, it's really easy to have the attitude of, I'm young and I'm healthy and my body works great and it's always going to be this way. Um, and so you don't, you're not really as concerned about what you're taking in. Um, so the blubber burger activity is just a, a good way to get teens to visualize how much fat they're really putting in their body when they eat out at McDonald's or at Taco Bell or wherever. So we um, kind of break them into groups and then give them an activity sheet that lists out, you know, a meal at a common fast food restaurant. So, you know, a burger and fries and a shake or a couple tacos and a burrito or something like that and we have listed out how many grams of fat is in that meal and then the teens are challenged to convert that into um, tablespoons of shortening and so we give them actually like a burger bun and they put however many tablespoons of shortening on the burger bun and then we go around and talk about what everyone's meal was and they hold up their burger I don't know if we kept any of them or not but no we throw them away um, but yeah, that's really, I think, a good activity for the teens to do because it's really visual, it's really hands-on, and I mean, you can see it in their faces as they're scooping spoon after spoon of lard <laughs> onto this burger bun that they're like, this is gross. Um, and I think for a lot of them when they're eating fast food, they don't really think about what it's doing, but when you're faced with kind of the reality of this is what I'm putting in my body, it's hard to ignore and it's hard to forget, so hopefully some of them will have that in the back of their mind next time they're at the McDonald's or wherever it is they're going. Well, I know I'm going to have it in the back of my mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too, forever. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you'd like to add that you could think of? Um, I don't know, just that I've been really impressed this past year with how much um, partnership has been involved in offering these classes. Um, when I came into the position about 10 months ago, I didn't have a lot of expectations about what I was going to be doing besides cooking classes, which was kind of just a nebulous idea at that time. Um, but as Kristen and I really started hitting the ground with getting these classes out there and getting them offered, we had so many people who were willing and wanting to partner to help us offer the classes um, to the community. And so it's been really, really wonderful to see, you know, almost every class we're partnering with a different group. Um, you know, WSU and CMAR and EOCF and, you know, the court system and different churches and different schools. So it's just been really great to see um, everybody is excited about the classes and everybody wants to help help us have more of them. So, which is a good problem, even though we don't have the manpower yet to, to do as many as we would like to. But we're hoping that the program will just continue to grow and We'll just try to keep up with it. <laughs> well, I believe it's going to. It's a wonderful program. And, and I just thank you so much for you know, taking time for the interview and everything today. Yeah, of course. <laughs> What do you guys got? What's the food that you guys got? So I'm interviewing Cody, and uh, he's uh, a participant in the Cooking Matters class. And um, I just have a couple questions for you, Cody. Um, it says that knowledge has changed his behavior. Do you think that this class is actually going to help you make different changes in how you uh, cook at home? And, Probably. Yeah. And um, so what do you feel that you've learned a lot in this class and mostly about? Um, I probably have to say that it's whole grains. I've never, I've never really been a big fan of like whole, you know, wheat grain, multi-grain breads. Um, but I think I can probably give it a different try. I can use different whole grain um, products when making like things like pancakes. Right on. Uh, um, and um, finding just healthier ways because it, it all tastes the same. It just it's, it's healthier. So. And do you feel like you've learned some more creative ways of using ingredients by yeah, having like the trick that you taught about the bell peppers? Never knew that. Use it at home. 
most amazing thing on the face of the planet. I was so happy. Oh, great! I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. So that was, yeah, I learned a few things, you know, a couple of techniques, and then like I said, uh, I've learned a lot about the healthy eating. I went on a health kick a while ago and felt great. I was eating healthy things, you know, granola, yogurts, and everything. And, you know, I was waking up early in the morning, I had energy the whole day. And um, I just got to stop. And now, you know, back here doing a cooking class where things are healthier, so. So you really believe it. You really are what you eat, like that saying says. Yeah, I definitely believe that. Yeah, and I know for a fact that, that nutrition really plays a big part in health and, and um, also how well you age, too. So. And you're young now, so the, the yeah, sooner the better. Yeah, the sooner the better. That's for sure. <laughs> So is there anything else you'd like to say about the class? Uh, it's a great class. The people here are great. Um, it's fun. You know, if you just, you just let go and just do it, you know, do it. You know, I'm told it's, it's a good time. Right on.